Hello, welcome to Horo Solve this very nice square root math simplification problem. Square root of 9 plus square root of 64 plus 16 times square root of 12. This expression can be written as square root of 9 plus square root of this 64 can be written as 16 times 4 plus 16 times square root of 12. Next, square root of 9 plus square root of from these two terms we can factor out 16. 16 as common factor and in bracket left 4 plus square root of 12. Next, square root of 9 plus by using this property square root of a times b is equal to square root of a times square root of b. This is square root of 16 times 4 plus the square root of 12 will become square root of 16 times square root of 4 plus square root of 12. Next, square root of 9 plus this is square root of 16 is 4 times square root of 4 plus this square root of 12 can be written as square root of 4 times 3. Next, square root of 9 plus 4 times square root of 4 plus this square root of 4 is 2. So, we write here 2 times square root of 3. Next, square root of 9 plus 4 times square root of. Now, this 2 times square root of 3, 2 times square root of 3 can be written as 2 times square root of 3 times 1. So, we write this 4 as, we write this 4 as 3 plus 1. We write this 4 as 3 plus 1 plus this 2 times square root of 3, 2 times square root of 3. Next, square root of 9 plus 4 times square root of. Now, we want to write this expression as a perfect square in the form of this algebraic identity a squared plus b squared plus 2ab is equal to a plus b whole squared. So, we write this 3 as, we write this 3 as a square root of 3 squared plus we write this 1 as 1 squared plus this 2 times square root of 3 can be written as 2 times square root of 3 times 1. Next, square root of 9 plus 4 times square root of by using this uh, algebraic identity, this uh, square root of 3 squared plus uh, 1 squared plus uh, 2 times the square root of 3 times 1 will become square root of 3 plus 1 whole squared. Now, this square will be cancelled out with this uh, square root. And here we are left with this expression square root of 9 plus 4 times square root of 3 plus 1. Next, 
square root of 9 plus this 4 times square root of 3 will become 4 times square root of 3 and 4 times plus 1 will become plus 4. Next square root of this 9 plus this 4 will become 13 plus this 4 times the square root of 3 can be written as 2 times 2 times square root of 3. Now, if we take a square of this 2 times square root of 3, if we take square of 2 times square root of 3, it will be 4 times 3 that is equal to 12. So, we write this 13 as, we write this 13 as 12 plus 1. Then this expression will become square root of we write this 13 as 12 plus 1 plus 2 times this 2 can be written as this 2 can be written as square root of 4. So, we write this 2 as square root of 4 times square root of 3. Next, square root of 12 plus 1 plus 2 times this is square root of 4 times the square root of 3 will become square root of 12. Next square root of now we can write this expression as a perfect square in the form of this algebraic identity a squared plus b squared plus 2ab is equal to a plus b whole squared. So, we write this 12 as square root of 12 squared plus we write this one as 1 squared plus 2 times square root of 12 times 1. Now, by using this algebraic identity, this expression will become square root of square root of 12 plus 1 whole squared. So, this square will be cancelled out with this square root and here we are left with the square root of 12 plus 1. Now, this square root of 12 can be simplified as square root of 4 times 3 plus 1 this square root of 4 times 3 can be written as a square root of 4 times square root of 3 plus 1. This square root of 4 is 2 times square root of 3 plus 1. This is the simplest form. This is the final answer of this problem.